So, you've done your research and you want to buy a filter so that you can produce clean drinking water outside. But you can't decide between the bottle type filters or the squeeze type filters. Well, in this video, we're going to review the pros and cons of both. So first of all, we've got the bottle type filter like this, the water to go filter. And usually it comprises of a bottle and a replaceable filter, which is usually at the top, although you can get other designs as well. And all you do is you fill the bottle up, you screw it down, then you need to activate the filter. And you do that by just squirting a small amount of water through so that water runs nice and clear. And once that water is running clear, you then just drink and it's as simple as that. Some filter bottles, like this water to go bottle, also have a charcoal filter in the top. And what that means is it'll remove heavy metals and some chemicals as well, things like chlorine, for example. So even if you're not planning on filling up from wild water, and you're filling up from a tap, it actually makes tap water taste better. So it's a really good option for that. One great thing about a filter bottle is that there's not that much size and weight difference between a regular water bottle and a filter water bottle. So even when you're not planning on sourcing water from the wild, uh, it's no bother to kind of swap this one for this one. Then if you do need to, you've got the option of when you're out and about. All of these factors combined to make the filter bottle a really convenient option for any drinking water when you're out and about in the countryside, or maybe when you're just a tourist in another country and the tap water there is a little bit questionable. It does have its flaws though. Now the first one is, if you want to get water out of this other than for direct drinking, and you want to squeeze that up in order to cook something, make a cup of tea, or do something else with it, then it's actually really hard because they usually got a very stiff bottle there and it's hard to produce a lot of water that way. So while it's great for direct drinking and for producing drinking water, it's not so good for hygiene, brushing your teeth and cooking. The second drawback for me is that bottles like this are quite often opaque, which means you can't see through them. So when you fill it up from your wild water and then you drink from the top directly, that water's going straight from the lake or puddle into your mouth unseen. And that just takes a little bit of trust. Not being able to see the water before you drink it is actually a bit of a minor issue because a visual inspection is not going to reveal whether there's bacteria or virus in there because they're just too small to see. But what is important is when you use a bottle like this because it's designed for direct drinking, it makes it harder to use a secondary purification system you know, to make sure that you absolutely got sterilised water. For example, if you want to use chlorine or UV light, uh, you, know, you can put that in the bottle beforehand, but those methods both work better when the water has already been filtered to some degree and it is clear. And if the water is turbid or cloudy, those methods are less effective. So that is an important factor to consider. Then you've got the squeeze type filters like this one. And the way this works is you screw a can canteen or a bottle onto this end, turn it up and then you can squeeze the water down so that water is produced from this end. And then you can fill up a kettle or a pan and use that for cooking, cleaning or for drinking. The squeeze type filters can be almost as convenient as the bottle type because if you've got a bottle or a water container with the same size thread, you can then just screw in your filter, pop the lid off and then drink it like it was a straw. With a squeeze type system like this one that also has a straw, you can actually dip this straight into your wild water source, such as your lake or your puddle, and drink straight from the lake. But the real advantage to this kind of system is that you can filter water into another container. And that's important for a number of reasons. The first one is that you can do a visual inspection first and make sure that water is clear. And while you, know, you can't tell whether water has bacteria or virus in it just by looking at it, does give you that added element of confidence which I think is important when you're having to drink water from the wild but more importantly and I think this is the key thing with this type of filter is it allows you to use a secondary purification system as well for example using chlorine uh, using a UV pen which both rely on the water being clear already before you use it because they're much less effective if the water isn't clear and also boiling and boiling is probably going to be your number one go-to because that is 100% effective against bacteria, viruses, and all other waterborne organisms. And with the added advantage of the uh, filter as well, you can also remove some chemicals uh, and make it a lot safer to drink. So it really is a belt and braces when you use both methods. And the final reason for using a squeeze type filter like this one, as opposed to a bottle type, is that it's much easier to produce water for uh, brushing your teeth and hygiene and cooking as well with this type than it is with a bottle type. Although I believe there are certain types of filter bottle, for example, the Grail, which is a press type that does allow you to do that. Personally, I don't think you need to decide between a squeeze type or a bottle type 
because they're both useful in run right and you can actually use them together as well. For example, when I'm out and about, I could squeeze water from my squeeze filter into my filter bottle. I could then add a chlorine tablet as a secondary purification method. Then I could drink from the filter bottle, knowing that the filter in this is actually removing a lot of the chlorine and making the water better to taste. Now, if I had to choose one for budget reasons, then I would say the squeeze type system is more versatile because it can produce drinking water plus water for hygiene and brushing my teeth and that kind of thing. But if I was out in another country as a tourist, where I was just sort of going around a different city, going back to the hotel and brushing my teeth with bottled water, not having to cook with it and that kind of thing, then I would say it's very, very hard to beat the convenience of a filter bottle because these are just so easy to use. If you want to learn more about different types of water purification, then have a look at my last video and I'll see you next time.